Something, something, fantasy cannot be your fantasy life. What's up, foosballers? This is uh, Tyler, the Waver King Ward. Hope you like the intro music today. I'm working on it. I could probably look up the lyrics. That might help a little bit. But anyways, uh, bring another video to you live. It's 150 degrees in my garage right now. If you can't tell, I'm sweating. I uh, just got off work. Uh, but anyways, I was sitting at work and I was thinking of something. And uh, I got the top five sources for fantasy football information. And I've been using these for a long time. So I get everything I need pretty much from all this. So here we go. Let's start with number five. Reddit. Fantasy football subreddit. There's a lot of stuff that is terrible on there, but there's a lot of stuff that is good on there. But mostly, it's just a bunch of random thoughts from a bunch of random people. And it makes you think about stuff that you've never thought about before and apply it with your own little personal stuff. So anyways, I get a lot of ideas from Reddit. I don't take all their advice, but I do get a lot of the ideas from there. Number four, ESPN. <clears throat> Check all the box scores. I mean, it's just my box score. Checking at, uh, media, whatever you want to say. I mean, you can go to Yahoo or do whatever you want. But what I do is I go after every game because I can't afford to watch every game. <clears throat> and I just go to ESPN box scores and I check out all the stats that jump off to me, you know, like, uh, and then I check out that player and see their past, you know, if they're a rookie or if they've had production in the past or maybe they just got to a brand new team or something like that, you know, a reason why this guy was not producing before and now he is producing. So if you all these things line up, you can find a lot of good players that way. I can see sweat dripping down my face. It's literally like 120-something degrees in here. Anyways, <clears throat> number three, YouTube or just film. Uh, what I do, I mean, what I did with all this, I can't afford all of these streaming services that allow you to watch f every game. So I have to specifically go in either to a team or a person and just go preseason whatever Browns highlights, you know. So I watch a lot of highlights through YouTube. And then plus there's just a lot of random people like me, well, better than me probably, at least have a better setup and rig and everything. I mean, my light's flashing right now, dude. I probably might give somebody a seizure right now, which is terrible. <clears throat> yeah, anyways... You just got to watch the film, man. You got to watch what you can and when you can. Uh, num number two, the fantasy footballers. Andy Calloway, Jason Moore, and Michael Wright. <laughs> Anyways, they're my favorite. I watch every single episode of them. I've been watching them for like four years, something like that. And uh, I've gotten a lot of good stuff from them. So, I mean, you know, they come up with a, a lot of next-gen stats that make a lot of sense and that work for fantasy, and that will help you. And they're funny, they're easy to understand, they don't use a bunch of crazy verbiage that I don't understand and all that stuff. Um, but it's good to get your ideas and then go there and then kind of get everything from them. And they've only screwed me through injuries and they can't control injuries, so. Number one, it's the Fantasy Foosballers! Cause you gotta remember to trust yourself in your own brain. So my number one source is my brain. And of course, we've got Jason, the lucky bastard. Youth and will come in soon. Uh, as soon as I can figure out all this technology, he will be posting all kinds of good stuff. So, I mean, he thinks he's number one too. So the point is, you got to trust yourself, man, because relying on everybody is going to get you the same as everything else. You know, you're going to be the same as everybody if you watch the same thing as everybody. You got to rely on yourself and make your own decisions. I mean, it helps to get <clears throat> inspiration from other people, but still, if you want to stay consistent and be good, you got to believe in yourself. So anyways, those are my top five sources for fantasy football information. So thank you for watching. This is Tyler, the Waver King Ward. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with videos on videos on videos on videos. All right, later.